Hi friends! Happy Easter! Miss Brittany here, and I have a very fun craft for you to do with your family today. If you go to Central, then you probably got a Lent bag at the beginning of Lent, and in it was this Resurrection Story craft set. If you have that, go get it. You're going to need it right now. If you don't have a copy of that, then email me at Brittany at centralfreemethodist.org, and I can send you a copy of the file so you can print it out. What you are going to need is the printout of all of the pieces, and I would recommend if you're printing it at home, try to print it on cardstock or something like a little bit thicker because we want them to stand up. The next thing that you're going to need is crayons. Now, you might have seen these have already come partially pre-colored, but the opposite side is left blank for you to color if you want to. You're also going to need a pair of scissors and some tape. And all of this came in the Lent bag if you still have all of that stuff. The first thing that you're going to do is to take your scissors and you're going to cut out each character piece along the dotted lines. Straight along the dotted lines, straight along the dotted lines. Now, it's up to you. If you want to, you can cut them out like I've done this one with the bumps already done, or you can cut them out straight like I've done this one, and then when you fold it like this, then you would take your scissors and cut along the little curves to make it rounded, just like that, and then they're even on both sides, okay? so. You're gonna cut out all of the characters, cut out the background pieces, cut out the extra pieces. Then you're going to fold them in half, and if you've already cut out the uh, little corners, then they'll look like this, already ready to go. And if not, we'll do it just like we did the first lady. Fold it along the line in the center, and then you're gonna cut just on the corners. So that is step number one. So give me a second and I'm gonna do all of that real quick. Make sure that you are being really careful with your scissors. All right, now that you have them all cut out, I want you to notice that they look different on the different sides. Can you see that? So on this side, what would you say that person looks? Happy? What about this side? Kind of sad. What about this person? Hmm. That might be useful later. We'll have to see. The next thing that you're going to do is find the little line along the bottom. Fold each side up from the bottom on the gray line. So that would look like this. Find the gray line fold up from that line like this and then on this side we're going to do the exact same thing fold up from the line now you can choose to do all of them at one time or you can do the next part right away so you're going to once you have them folded like this you're going to take your tape and you are going to tape right here where the two folds meet, okay? Open that top flap, and we're gonna put a piece of tape right here. Now, you can kind of straighten it out, and it will stand up, just like that. So you're gonna do that with all of your pieces, all of the little extra pieces, too. make the background, I just cut it out along the top and then I folded it in half and it will sit up just like this. I taped it together in the middle um, so that you can like set it up and then you can set the rock in front of the tomb if you would like. So when you have all of this done and all of your pieces are sanding, you're ready to set up your scene and have some fun. So let's get into the story. Jesus came to show us the way to live. There were many people who became followers of Jesus and listened to his teaching. Men and women. 
They came to hear what he had to say. Jesus chose 12 men to be his disciples, his close friends who learned from him. These men were always with Jesus, learning what he had to teach. They traveled everywhere Jesus went. They were there on Sunday when people shouted praise and hosannas to Jesus. They were there on Monday when Jesus went to the temple, saw the bad things the people were doing, and cleared out the temple. The disciples were there on Wednesday when a woman anointed Jesus with expensive perfume. And on Thursday they shared the Last Supper together, and he taught them to share in a special meal we remember in communion. On Thursday night, Jesus was arrested. On Friday morning, he was put on trial, but they could find nothing that he had done wrong. The soldiers took Jesus through the city. They made him carry the cross he would die on. He was already so weak he had to have help to carry it. By noon, he was put up on the cross. They put a sign on the cross that said, Jesus, King of the Jews. He hung there for hours. Around three o'clock, he said, it is finished and he bowed his head and died. Jesus was buried in a very fine cave. It was carved out of rock and owned by a rich man. A large stone was rolled in front to protect the doorway. The men who buried Jesus put 75 pounds of myrrh and aloes around his body. They wrapped his body with the spices in long sheets of cloth. These spices that they used were expensive and special. A soldier watched over the grave where Jesus was buried. Imagine how Jesus' friends felt knowing that he was dead. The disciples spent Saturday in sadness. They had forgotten Jesus' promise that he would come back. On Sunday, some women went to the tomb. They found the large stone had been rolled away. They ran to tell the disciples. The disciples ran to the grave and saw that the cloth that had wrapped the body was lying there empty. The disciples saw that Jesus had risen and believed Jesus was alive again. He came to them that evening and more later before he rose back to heaven. He taught a new commandment. We are to love God and love other people. People who follow Jesus will be known for their love. Jesus' resurrection changes everything. We are filled with joy by the good news. The tomb is empty. We can share this joy with other people. Jesus gave his disciples the job of sharing the good news of salvation all around the world. So we also tell the good news of salvation. Jesus is alive and we are celebrating. Happy Easter and I will see you later.